Hello, you'll never guess what. Today, I've just gotten home from work. It is Thursday the 7th of February and something has arrived. I've just sliced it open and taken the polystyrene out to make it easier to get it out the box. This is the next in my mm, spending money that I probably shouldn't be spending. But I like spending money on awesome things like this. It's going to be going on my shelf, either next to the Power Armor Helmet or above with my Chernobyl mug. We'll get into that uh, during the game. Well, during Metro 2033, which I'm going to be playing soon. Uh, I will be streaming it over on Twitch. Uh, I believe it's just my YouTube channel's name, but on Twitch. Uh, and everything will be going up on YouTube anyhow, so... Let's get into this. I'm going to put you down for a minute, put the box on the floor, and then get it out. I've only just got home from work, so mind the shit on my bed. Right. Nice and secure down there. Cool. Down onto the box. Right. Now this thing is awesome. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. out the way give you a nice rotation of it bam, bam, bam. Ooh. okay so I would assume that in the Russian it's saying radioactive and then something this is the kind of label that you see on the back of a lorry tells you that whatever is in it is potentially hazardous right let's get it centered now it's got what is that is that a pressure gauge pressure 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 gauge okay it is kilograms and force okay cool right let's get this latch undone this is my first time opening it, by the way. It's pretty cool. Right. Ooh. Nice metal ring. But I didn't cut myself on, fortunately. Big bit of cardboard. No game. Now, there's a reason there's no game in this. Because this is technically... The PC copy, technically. Um, I also have another version. I do have the game coming. Don't worry. I didn't buy it on Steam, fortunately. I do feel sorry for you, those of you that did. Got a nice Spartan symbol. Right. Just come out easily. Uh, no, because of the indent. Right, I'm going to put you down again and try and get that out. Don't want to damage it really. Nice little pop. Nice, nice little symbol. I might keep that to be honest. I don't know what I'll do with it. But to be honest, I'm probably going to keep this as well and just put it on. What is going to be a new set of shelving that I'm going to be putting in at some point at that end of the room. Because I've got to replace that wardrobe because it's sort of falling apart. So I'm redoing that whole end. It will be going up there. I know that. Got some... Is that, the... is that the cartridge? Is that supposed to be a bullet cartridge? Because that looks a lot like a primer. Is it going to come out easily? Oop. Oh, wow. It's like proper... Oh, it's a filter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Proper old school Russian filters. If you ever get one of these green filters, don't use them. They quite likely contain what is known as blue asbestos. It's not particularly good for your health. It is very carcinogenic. Right. Let us see what is in here. I've just taken the lid off. That's shiny. Okay. Bits of cardboard. 
Oh, that's got stuff in. Dem's got stuff and things in. Kind of need to have a look just in case it's. What is it? Is that what I think it is? Ah, uh, that'll be for. Yes, it will be. Right. Let me put you down again and grab this out. Because it's awesome. Bam. Ranger dog tag. Nice. On a nice bit of leather as well. It's proper proper leather as well. Doesn't smell like the fake stuff does. And right, let's see what's in this small one. Get it open first. Come on. Ooh. Two Metro Ranger badges. Let's see. Ranger Order Sparta, I think. Or if it's hostile, kill it. I'm not sure. I don't read Russian. And I speak very limited Russian. Right, let's see what's in this big one. Yes, my Russian vocalage is... Uh, Yes, no, and thank you. Yeah, and I can insult you somewhat. Oh, these are the postcards. That's cool. So, I'd say Vienna in Italy. London, the capital of my country. Although currently Big Ben has a big cloth around it. The Eiffel Tower, so Paris. Statue of Liberty, New York. I may have stuff on the back. Again, I don't read Russian. That's cool. They all, they all have something different on. That's cool. Great postal. Awesome. Let's see what's on the back of the English one. Cool. And last but not least, Vienna. Now, I am going to be doing a review of the Metro books in the very near future because I have read them all. I read them all last year. They're incredibly good and awesome and fun. If you haven't had a chance to read them, I would highly suggest it. Get either the Kindle copies or get a physical copy. I have the physical copies. They're all up here behind a Christmas card. 2033, 2034, 35. I'm going to be reviewing those books at some point because they are awesome. They are some of the best written sci fi, well, I guess sci fi post apocalyptic books out there that I've read so far. And I've also read a roadside picnic. I will be referencing it a lot. Right now, for the piece de la resistance. I don't know French, by the way. Bam, bada, bam. Big thing. Right. Get these tabs out. Right, it's easier to do one handed. Right. Now the barrel is empty. Big old barrel. It's not plastic, it's cardboard, but it's thick cardboard, so it will last. Right, more Ranger tag. Now, this requires assembly, apparently. Okay, so stick the ab shot into the little hole. Or is it a shambler? I don't know. No, that's a shambler, I think. I can't remember. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to have to put you down again. Again. Because this is not going to be easy. <laughs> Even the polystyrene has the ranger symbol on. I don't know. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Right. Pick up my Leatherman. Cut the tape very carefully because I don't want to 
scratch or damage it. There's passes coming up. I managed to somehow cut myself at work today. And no, it was not with my Leatherman. Before anyone thinks that. It might have been with a bit of cardboard. I know, ridiculous, right? See that from where you are? Yes, you can. Okay, so there's his binoculars in there. You probably can't see them. Let's try and get them out. Ah, and there goes his gun. Oh wow! Boom! That thing is actually metal. So there's not going to be any damage in that. And his binoculars that have a tiny little string. Now, they are well painted, I would say. They're not, I mean, there are some bits of paint that aren't on places they're supposed to be, but it's still pretty bloody good. Okay. He has. He's cut out of his bag with his knife already. Now this whole thing is metal, which is awesome. Of course, it says don't leave the bag and reach your small children. It's a choking hazard, because it is. Children are stupid. We, all, we were all children at one point. We all know they're stupid. Right. So this is our man. This is our main man. This is our John. With his trench knife, which is plastic. You'd think, or it's very thin metal. I don't know. You'd think it would be metal. Because the rest of this feels like it's metal. It's heavy enough to be. Nice little bit of Spartan Ranger there. And there's the Lurker. Or it's a Watchman. I'm not sure. Right, that's okay. He's got, oh, that's his knife holder, that sheath, because I assume it's plastic. It's not a scabbard. Or is it? I can't remember. This is the back of the lurker. Is it metal? No, it's plastic. And that is plastic. Him, he feels metal. That thing is awesome. I very much like the detail. Like this kind of looks a bit naff up close, but from a distance that would look like rust. And I like the fact that it's not all smooth. It looks like it's got pocked damage, if that makes sense. But yeah, our main man Archon. Let's get a look at those eyes. Yeah, and his gas mask, not the classic gas mask, the 88, which is a proper classic, but this is a current style of gas mask, having it off to the side, and then his new, new type of helmet with all the bumpies. Yeah, I could get the detail. Get it in the light, Doug. Yeah. Cool. And his watch. 
which is pretty cool. And then underneath, oh, it, damn. I've got six, eight, nine out of four thousand. That's a pretty low number, to be honest. Metro Exodus. Again in Russian. That's the same in Russian as on the patches. And on details about publisher, Deep Silver, Dmitry Gukoski, where it's made, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. I've just noticed all of his footprints as he sort of struggled to get the get the door shut. That's cool. And they've got like little boot prints and scrapies. The door is dirty. If you can see that. But boy does that lurker. Or well I assume it's a lurker because it looks like it. Well that's what it is. So yeah. This is the next thing that I've ordered. But it won't be the last thing to come that is Metro related, because I also have the Aurora edition coming, which means I've spent about £200 in total on Metro so far. But yeah, this is awesome. This is going to be going up on my YouTube channel. I am going to be playing through 2033 and Last Light before Exodus comes out. Come join me at twitch.tv slash Dug. See you there.